what's going on guys jake the happy snake here and welcome to episode three of pokemon ruby second chance last time i left little root town and this time for quite a while i made it here to petalburg city and i caught my second team member which is a tailo that i named felco and as you can tell i got him to level nine off screen because when i caught him he was level five so i got him up four levels and he learned quick attack so yeah, I am ready to go, and actually, before I continue, I want to show you guys, this is how good I am at this game, okay? Look at the amount of experience points that it will take for Falco to get to level 10. One experience point! That's all he needs! One experience point, and he'll get to level 10. Yeah, I swear I didn't do that on purpose. That was just a huge coincidence. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, let's get out of this place. Hopefully, we won't have to go back there for quite a while. We're here on Route 104. This is where I actually caught uh, Taylor. I caught him in this patch right there, the gra that grass patch. So let's battle the first trainer of the episode. This guy who's walking around who doesn't seem to notice me. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. Actually, yes, it is. It's a very, very uh, cool feeling. Youngster Billy. So he has a C dot. And see that is a version exclusive to this game. You cannot catch C dot in Sapphire, but you can catch you can catch C dot in Emerald and Ruby. And then in Sapphire, the version exclusive is Lotad. There's actually a few version exclusives for both Ruby and Sapphire, but C dot is one that's exclusive to Ruby, and Lotad is ex is exclusive to Sapphire. And you can catch them both in Emerald. However, I think I think that. Lotad is a lot more common in Emerald than Seedot because I like I've played through Emerald like 20 times in my life and I've I haven't found too many Seedots I'm going to be completely honest but Lotad seem to be I, they seem to be all over the place so yeah it's kind of weird how that works but uh anyways here we have a Talo so we're fighting one of our own kind there we go and 100 experience points for Falco and bam he's level 11 and just like that he's at the same level as Cherofita which is actually not what I had in mind, so we're gonna switch out to Cherifita. Okay. The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. I don't know, why don't you go swimming and find out? Okay, so we have some berries here. So pick those, and we will battle Rich Boy Winston. Oh sure, I'll accept your challenge, I have a lot of money. Him and the, um, there's a lady, I actually forget what her name is, but she's at the end of the Petalburg Woods in Ruby and Sapphire, but in Emerald, they're switched, so in, so right now, we would be fighting the lady if it was Emerald, and Rich Boy Winston would be, would be at the end of Petalburg Woods. I don't know why they switched them for Emerald, but whatever. And yeah, what's gonna happen... I've played this game so many times, what's gonna happen is, I'm, is I'll get him down to the low yellow or... To the red or whatever, and then he'll use a full restore. I'm not sure why you would waste a full restore on a level 7 Zigzagoon, but he's going to do that. No, he's not. Okay, well, it must be in the red, or maybe it's only an emerald. I, I thought he did it in this game too, but whatever. Anyways, why couldn't I win? No, probably because you didn't use your full restore that I, were, that I was sure you were going to use. But again, it, maybe it's only an emerald? I don't know. Anyways... So here we have a Silicoon. I will take this thing down with a quick attack. Okay, let's actually speed this up because I don't really want to... And all she can do is harden. Okay, 50 experience points. There we go. Right here we have a Potion. Right here we have a Pokeball! So that makes up for one of the two that I that I lost when trying to catch the Talo in the last episode. Okay. Next trainer is this Bug Catcher. I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon! Go, go, go! My, my Bug Pokemon team! Yeah! By a bunch of Pokemon, he means literally like four level three Wurmples. Mmm! Never mind! S six level three Wurmples. I okay. It's definitely four in uh, in Emerald. I, I I'm too used to Emerald. That's the problem. I thought it was four, but apparently it's six. Jeepers, dude. What's the what's the point? 
You're literally just wasting my time and your own time. If I known he had six, I probably would have just tried to skip him. Oh, wow. String shot. Talk about wasting time. This is going to take up the entire video. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Yay, level 12. Well, this is battle isn't a complete waste. Like, what's the... There's no point to having th six level 3 Wurmples. At least evolve one of them. Like, seriously. This is actually ridiculous. Oh. Alright, one more. One more level 3 Wurmple. Then we can move on. Man. Like, this is actually so stupid. At least he lost two of them if, if for Emerald. Alright, there we go! I have all these Pokemon, but I couldn't win. Yeah, because they're all the same level and they're all the same Pokemon! Like, what is wrong with this guy? Seriously. Okay, over here we have a paralyzed heal. Oh boy. Hello. Hmm, not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. And check it out! A Team Magma member! This is actually really weird for me because in in Sapphire and Emerald, this would be a Team Aqua member. But since this is Ruby, it's Team Magma, so I'm not used to seeing a Magma... I'm very much used to seeing a Team Aqua member here, not a Team Magma member, so this is really, really cool. I was going to ambush you, but you had to dwaddle into the Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I guess I could wait until here I am. You, different researcher, head over those papers. Ah! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please! This guy is actually pathetic. What do you think you're doing? What are you gonna do, protect it? No one who crosses Team Magma gets, gets any mercy, not even a kid! Wow. All right, first Team Africa battle of the Let's Play. He's got him level nine, Puccina. I'm not afraid because I've got Cherafita on my side. So he's gonna go with Howl. I'm not sure how that's going to do anything, but whatever. I guess it does raise his attack. Oh, wait, I meant to use Quick Attack, but whatever. Absorb does do the trick. Absorb is a good Grass-type move for this point in the game, but it, it, it quickly becomes useless after, like, the... Not much... Like, pretty much not... Like, no... Like, not past the second gym. It's... It, like, past the second gym, it's it's pretty bad. You've got some nerve ventilating with Team Aqua. Or, excuse me, Team Magma. See, I'm so used to seeing Team Aqua. Come on, battle me again! I wish I could say that. I'm out of Pokemon. And, hey, we have Team Magma. We're also... After something in Rustboro. I'll let you I'll let you go today. Whew, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of, of those of these important papers. I know, I'll give you a great ball. It's my thanks. Wow. That's actually really nice. Did that team Magma Thug say they were after something in Rustboro too? And then uh Oh, it's a this is it's a crisis! I can't be wasting time! This guy is actually pathetic. And then he just disappears. Okay. So, yeah, that was exciting. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you get instantly popular. Well, probably in the sense of how terrible of a trainer you appear to be to everybody. Honestly. So here's an Ninkata. Ninkata is actually a really interesting Pokemon because it can evolve into either Ninjask or Shedinja. And in order to get Shedinja, um, I'm trying to think. It has to be... Uh, ben, ben knows because Ben actually likes Shedinja. I think it, you have to evolve... Ninkata at level 20 and have no other Pokemon in your party. 
Or you have to have, like, something to do with the stats or something? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had one. So I don't exactly remember. But it's really a really unique Pokemon because it only has one HP. But if you, uh, <clears throat> but it can only be hit by, by super, by super effective attacks. So can you imagine, like, a Sableye having, having Wonder Guard? That's the name of the ability Sh uh, Shed Ninja has. Can you imagine a Sableye having Wonder Guard? I remember Ben had a cheated Sableye once in Heart Gold, I think, or Soul Silver. It was a cheated Sableye that had Wonder Guard as its ability. Like, that's so OP. Because it can only, because uh, before Gen 4, or excuse me, what am I talking about? Before Gen 6, Sableye and Spirit Tomb were the only Pokemon to not have weaknesses. No, I'm, I'm wrong. Electros as well. But we're talking about the, the Ghost and Dark type combination. And Wonder Guard, you can only be hit, hit with a super effective attack. So, therefore, if Shedenja or Spirit, Spirit Tomb can only be hit with a super effective attack, and they don't have any... There's no type that, that, that can be super effective, then they're pretty much immune to every single attack ever. But that, I mean... Then the fairy types came into existence, and Sableye and Spirit Tomb no longer were were like Pokemon that had no weaknesses, which I thought was really stupid. Like, like really, that's really stupid. But whatever, that's just my opinion. Okay, so over here we have a Pokeball. You see a bunch of these empty patches, so you're gonna see at least two hidden items. There might even be three. I'm not exactly sure. So there's two. Super Potion. That's cool. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. That's it. Alright. You must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? You ask me, yet I can't answer. We're just gonna have one anyways. Cindy, that's her name. Okay, Lady Cindy. All right, Cherofita, let's do this. Let's do this. Another absorb will do the trick. There we go. Oh my. Haha. -ha. And I think this is a good time to switch over to Falco. Okay, moving on. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure, I will battle. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, last Haley. So how'd you get a low tad if this is Pokemon Emerald, or excuse me, if this is Pokemon Ruby? How did you get a low tad? Oh, nice critical hit. Because low tads aren't even you can't find low tads in Pokemon Ruby, so I don't know how you found one. There we go. I shouldn't have battled. No, you shouldn't have, but you did, and that's the that's the risk that you took. So, sorry about that. Okay, next up, we have a double battle. This is going to be the last battle of this episode. We are twins, so we battle Pokemon together. You see a lot more double battles in Emerald than you do in Ruby and Sapphire. Ruby or Sapphire. Okay, so, we're gonna peck, quick attack. There we go. Level 12 for Falco, so that's good. See that I is using Harden. And there we go. We battled together, but we both lost. Yeah. Yeah, you did. All right, guys. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have an awesome weekend, and I will see you back here on Monday for episode four. Guys, thanks for watching, and peace out.